Hey guys, how's it going? OG Kish back with another fighter showcase. Today it's going to be a fighter showcase for UFC 239. John Jones versus Tiago Santos. Oh my goodness. So I made Tiago Santos and create a fighter. I made him a striker, obviously, because uh, if you go to his sure dog record, he has TKO punches on Blashowitz, KO on Jimmy Manawa, Eric Anders, KO with elbows. Uh, decision, KO, loss, TKO, win, TKO, win, TKO, win, TKO, win. You get the point. I also gave him a couple submission moves. Not that many, though, as he actually has been submitted a few times. So his ground game isn't the best, but his striking is pretty good. I need to start writing down the overalls because that would definitely help. But just know striking is up there. Grappling is lower. Like I think it's 81. And heart and health are pretty good. So, it's not like you're going to get dropped instantly as Tiago Santos, but uh, your grappling isn't the greatest. Blocks that strike. Big punch. Three minutes to go. He's got the Muay Thai clinch. Look, and the clinch there is good by Jones. Battle for position here. Brutal knee to the body. hurt here. He is in big trouble. He's trying to cover up. He might be seeing a new champ right now. Big Beautiful body, body shot. shot there too. John Jones though, obviously I can get his overall pulled up right here. 92 striking, 93 grappling, 91 stamina, 91 health. Who do I have in this fight? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take John Jones simply because he said it himself. He's fought big dudes who just throw a lot of punches really quick and are very powerful. And John Jones has finished a lot of those people. So he's very confident in himself. And I feel like he's always been very confident in himself. Anyway, I'm taking John Jones. He's a killer. And I think he's going to be able to adapt to Thiago Santos's plan and his game plan going into this. And uh, as always, I think we're going to see John Jones come out with a victory. I don't know if he's going to knock him out. Um, I kind of hope he does. I kind of hope we see a knockout victory. Uh, if John Jones gets finished, if John Jones gets finished, this opens up a lot of things in the light heavyweight division. That's all I'm saying. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. One to the body. for the end of round one. All right, round two. Now starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. Wow! He's definitely hurt. Oh, big shot! Nice leg kick. strikes. Well, he just hasn't been efficient with his strikes here tonight. There's another swing and a miss, and at this point, if he can't preserve some stamina moving forward, this is going to end up being an awfully long night. Nice punch by Jones. from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Jones gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh! He's, hurt. He's hurt. Oh, he might be out. Tying up in the 
clinch here. And there comes the separation now. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punch. Oh, he tagged him. He tagged him with a right hand. He's out. He gets his back. The best thing about this fight is even when your overall is completely lower, no matter what, you can slowly but surely wear down your opponent. Just take some strikes, get rocked a few times. If you can take big shots, survive those, and then come in with your own strikes, and then continue to land strikes after, obviously you're risking a lot, but if you don't get finished right away, it's worth it. Here we go, third round of this championship. He oh! can't go. He hurt him. He's got him right here. He blocks the shot. How about that chin? All right, so another strike to the body there, and Joe, we've seen in the later stages of this fight, not only an uptick in the aggression, but oh! him in the he's got him hurt here. Alright, so that was me playing as Tiago Santos. Now here's me playing as John Jones. Hopefully you enjoy this footage, guys. Honestly, I loved playing as both of these fighters. Even the created fighter I made for Tiago Santos was still pretty fun to use. Guys, I have a lot more fighter showcases coming up because I'm doing almost every fight now on every card. And especially for 239, I've got every single fight on the main card already basically done. So get ready for content. He is going after it here. Jones has got the clinch here early, Joe. Big knee to the body. Over under now, Joe. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Changing knees here in the clinch. Jones is oh! Oh! This could be it. Oh, he might be out. In there with the right hand. He ch he's checking every single one of those. Lands a punch. He's moving to his right, trying to avoid that big right hand. Oh, good body kick. Oh, effective use of the jab by Jones. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Connects with the punch there. Pretty good shot there. Three minutes have gone by here in round one. Jones gets up. He is back on the feet here. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Double leg. Hits the reversal and now in half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Going for that patented rear naked choke now. He's free from the rear naked choke. Final minute of round one. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there by the champion. Who do you guys think is going to win the fight coming up? Guys, I have been putting predictions on my Twitter. At the only OG Kish on Twitter. Make sure you follow me. 
post a lot of MMA content, retweet a lot of MMA content on there. So if you want to stay up to date with some stuff, no matter if it's UFC, bare knuckle, Bellator, um, any other events or just knockouts of other things or just etc cetera, etc cetera. i post all sorts of stuff so just go on twitter and check that out and follow me at the only og kish all right round two this is gonna become one of those things where you're just wondering what's what's the opponent gonna be able to do to him not even whether or not he's gonna win but what's his opponent gonna be able to do to him able to land to the body there with a the left kick Oh, tagged him. Oh, and he ate a front kick. Excellent feint with the kick. Oh! Big knee! Knee to the body. Very nice knees. Solid knees again. guys hopefully you enjoyed the video please like comment and sub i was thinking of maybe doing a fighter showcase on like a top five knockouts or top 10 knockouts that i've done in the past done a lot of fighter showcases so tell me what you guys think of that maybe i will maybe i won't i don't know maybe it's a good idea i'll see you guys in the next video peace beautiful ko just as the round was ending what